Hey guys, welcome to the first ever video on my channel. And today I will be showing you all my pets and their names. So let's start that. So first off in my room, I have four fish. Their wall's a little messy, but this yellow one, that's silver scale. And the reason they have names like that is because my favorite book series this is my favorite book series right here. This is actually my book, but they have names like that. And those names are like, here's some of the names like Leopard Star, Tall Star, Boulder, Tawny Pelt. And so that's why they have those names because one of the rocks in their cage kind of looks like something important in the books. And this, bigger orange one. He has a spot near his tail, and that's how I know his name is Sunspot. And the smaller one um, doesn't have a spot near his tail, and he's smaller. His name is Flame Nose. And the bluish one, his name is Blue Tail, and he is actually blue from the top. So yeah, they're all males, and I'm gonna go show you my siblings fish. Okay, so this is my brother's goldfish, Goldie. He likes to name things Goldie. And yeah, it's a pretty big goldfish. At one point he had a crayfish living in there. Sister's fish, Sprinkle, is hiding right under there. Hiding there. And then from our creek, she actually also caught teeny tiny baby crayfish. It's grown a lot. Yeah. Sprinkle. She went from, she's a beta, she went from her name being Elsa, to her name being Rosie, to her name being Sprinkle, so. <laughs> yeah, the reason these are in here is because these up top, the way they get their water is they put their roots in there, and so some just like fell down when they were seeds. Yeah, the reason there's plants up top is because when the fish goes to the bathroom, it basically fertilizes the plants and basically cleans the water for the fish. So it's good for the fish and the plants. My next animal is my dog, Cooper. Yes, he's very sweet. He's a rescue, so he's like eight different types of dogs. Yeah, and there is a baby cone flower in a pot because we found the baby cone, cone flower in my mom's garden. And so I just put it in a pot. My next animals are bees. So basically the orange hive was in our garage. So we moved them out here. Like it was just a wild swarm in our garage. And it got so big that we had to split it and that's why the green one's smaller. My last and most animals are our chickens. We have 14 of them. And I'm gonna tell you all their names. So this right here, this um, chicken. You may hear him crowing. His name is Girl the Chicken. And two years ago when we got the, um, him and some of the other Americanos as chicks, he was supposed to be a hen. So his name is Girl. This right here, this is Creamer. This is Chicken, my dad named for that. My mom named Creamer. And Coffee right here. This right here, this is one of our chicks from this year. That is Ranch. My mom and dad named him that, or her that. And this chicken right here, her name is Lily. My brother named her that. This right here, this is also Goldie. Goldie as well. My brother named her that. <laughs> this is um, Oreo Banana. My sister named her that. She also named Girl, Girl. This is Chocolate. She's my chick that I named two years ago. Yeah, both the Wyandots are chicks from this year as well. This this friend right here, she's a chick from this year. Um, her name is Buffalo. And this one right up here, that's Honey Mustard. My parents named their chickens all sauces. And we have big black and white ones, big barred rocks. And they don't really have names, so yeah, I think that's all of them, it may be. Oh, no, okay. 
lots of flies. Well, we're gonna just kind of. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. So the chicks have. Yeah, there's no one in there. The chicks have just started laying eggs. So they lay pult eggs, which are just tiny eggs. They still do have yolk in them. Like sometimes if you get a tinier egg from an older chicken, they don't usually have yolks in them. But then, like a really, really small egg. Um, but then the chick's eggs, you can actually use. So something annoying about the chicks is they will go up in the trees and never ever come down. Like, they will literally, hi girl, he likes to follow me. They will literally get up on their food bin, jump onto the roof, and then jump into the trees. It's kind of annoying. So, some people may be wondering why she's in there. Oh, yep. And, um, basically we got six baby chicks this spring. And, well, they were all supposed to be, um, hens. Same thing happened again. The same thing as girl. And we had another rooster that was my chick from this spring. And her name was, her, his name was Anza, but I just changed it to Jupiter because I was kind of more of a boy, boy name, I felt like. And so he ended up fighting with girl while we were on vacation. And this girl, she um, has just a little head, like just a little kind of bleeding a bit. <clears throat> and I'm going to show that. So if you don't really want to see it, you can skip ahead like 20 seconds. So, yeah, it's just a scab. It's okay. She's going to be okay. But. <laughs> yep, there's girl. Yeah, she's going to be okay. She's just a little nervous around the other chicken. She's happy in here. She's fine. She's, is she very happy in here? Yeah. Yeah. She needs a name. I need to come up with a name for her. <laughs> yeah, so she's kind of scared a girl, though. And so. Yeah, their door right here, it closes at dark when it gets dark, and it opens when it gets light. But this button right here, I could close it right now if I wanted to. I'm not going to. But I could with um, that button. The chicks are dust bathing, or dust bathing, I guess would call it. <laughs> yeah, so basically their coop, I'm gonna see if I can. Basically their coop, that's their coop. But um, like where the wood is, that is where we, like inside the cage and where the wood is, that's where we kept the chicks this spring before they were big enough to be with the older chickens. And don't know why they're all running to me. Um. And so we kept them under, we kept that wood there with a heat lamp so they would stay warm. And then they could be kind of outside during the day. So she, she's happy in there. And we just have them in like an electric fence area because we used to have them just like roaming everywhere. So just a little, little electric fence. And the fox kept getting them, like foxes kept getting them and stuff like that. I hope you guys enjoyed my first ever video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.